Throughout these videos so far, I've had Session Horns Pro on a channel strip in my DAW, and I've had a send set up, sending to some reverb, and I'm using the excellent Phoenix Verb by Exponential Audio, and that's what you've been hearing so far. You've been hearing the reverb from Phoenix Verb, but there is a great reverb and delay and other effects built in to Session Horns Pro, and I'm going to mute this, and we're going to focus on the reverb now in Session Horns Pro. So let's just listen to this as is now without the external reverb. So very dry. Now on each of these individual instruments and slots, in addition to EQ and compression, we have send effects. We can dial up an amount that we want to send to a reverb and we can also send to a delay. Now let's focus on the reverb and I'm going to dial up for each instrument a little bit here. And again, this is available uniquely for each instrument and each instrument in each slot when there are multiple instruments as there are in this fourth slot here. And I'm just sort of ballparking it here. So I have a nice healthy amount of send. And now when we click on the global send effects, we'll have control over the actual reverb. So here we have a variety of algorithms to choose and the default is room A, but I think I want a bigger reverb. So let's try medium plate. And let's just hear what that sounds like to start with. I think I'm going to solo this. Not bad, but I want more of it. We can dial up the return level, meaning how much of the actual reverb output we're getting with this dial here. So let's dial that up. That sounds nice, and this will bypass the overall reverb. Not bad. Let's try some different ones. I think I want something even bigger. Let's try Jazz Hall. That's more like it. It's more what I'm looking for. But the idea is that we have a lot of different algorithms here, even some separate early reflections versions, so we can really zero in and get the type of space that we want for our brass section. Now I've got the return level dialed up to a fairly healthy level there. If I really want more, which I think I'm fine with this amount for now, but if I wanted more, I could always go in individually on the instruments and dial up more send. So that's a nice way of controlling it. Let's hear what this sounds like in context. Now hearing it in context, maybe it's a little too wet, so I can always just ease off on this here. That's sounding nice. So that's the reverb effects send. In the next video, we're going to look at the delay effects send.